In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to do cable rear delts and some variations to boot. So we've got Jason here, he's gonna be demonstrating. Jason, demonstrate for us the standard way most people will do a cable rear delt. So he's gonna grab the cables. Most people use this handle and extension as they do it. They're in this position and you can already see, Jason's very lean right now. So you can see that there's a lot of involvement through the back which isn't really what we want, right? We don't want this back involvement. We really want there to be the rear delt, okay? The rear delts are working as you can see, but there is a lot of back involvement. So we're gonna get him to relax and I'm gonna show you how to optimize this now. So firstly, we're gonna get rid of these attachments. That's the first thing. And we are gonna pop on ropes. And I'm gonna put the ropes on for Jason like so. And I'm gonna talk you through it, Jason. So. I want you in this position, but also when we're here, I want you in a protracted position. So we're moving through in protraction using the rear delt, not in retraction. So, and you'll see it on Jason because he's super lean. You saw where his back was on this one, and now you'll see where his back will be on this one. So really, really protract, that's it. That protraction just for the viewers at home. Imagine I put my, well, don't imagine, I'm putting my hand in the middle of Jason's chest and he's hollowing his chest out. So he's in this position here, right? And he's his lats are wrapping around his spine. So off you go, Jason. And keeping that projected position as you move through. Keeping that projected position. So think of your chest up, keep, keep spread, so it's only the delt, there you go. And a little higher. So that's the other thing. People often come pretty low with their rear delts. We want you a little higher. So when people come low down to here, we start to use our back uh, a lot more in our mid back. With really with the rear delts, you wanna either come just below ear height or on ear height. So I always get people to go a little higher. That way we're in the safe zone of really working those rear delts. And keep protracted, keep protracted, keep protracted. I'm pulling his shoulder blades apart so he stays. It's just the rear delts that move. It's just the rear delts that move. Protract, 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 and just use those rear delts. It's a lot harder for him now. It's the same weight, but it's a lot harder. I'm keeping his back fixed. You can see now, as he goes through, he's using a lot more rear delt. So that's a variation that I like. I'm gonna give him a rest for a bit. You can see they're really working now. He's still trying to use his back as he does it. So that's variation one of rear delt that I like. Another variation using the cable. And often I always get people in that pronated position, not a neutral position to really maximize the delt. Now this, you're gonna to need to get a little bit of distance away from the machine, Jason, but I'm gonna have you here, your arms stiff. Again, I don't want you to go into the lat. I really want you to be aiming for that ear as you come out here and pause it. So give that a go. Let's do six reps. And when you're in this position, you really wanna have your hips up and super, super high, right? So once I, what I do with a lot of clients is I stand where I want their hand to, to be guided. So I'm standing here, trying to kind of like whack me in the balls with your hands. There you go, perfect, that's it. And stay in that protracted position. And you can see that rear delt really you're lengthening, shortening. And as Jason's very lean, you can see that rear delt working really, really nicely. Shorten, 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 shorten. And also stick your chest up as you do it. There you go. And shorten. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Beautiful. Good. Pull yourself in as you do it. Pull yourself in. So all of this shortens. There you go. There you go. It's a lot harder now, but it's a lot more isolated. We'll just do one more. Shorten it all the way in. The more we can shorten, the better. Beautiful, excellent. How that feeling, Riddell? Yeah. All right, last variation, you can use the other arm. This variation, again, with every exercise, we wanna create stability. Stability is gonna allow us less movement of anything. So if people are, or you're struggling to maintain in this position, you can do the almost the exact same thing, but on all fours. So we're gonna be in this position here, and same movement, but we're coming through. And this variation bypasses that lower back because that lower back is going to be super, super stable. So Jason in position, you can do it with the other hand. Same principles though. His arms are going to be moving in the same direction in line with his ear. That's it, out to my hand. Again, if I'm working with a client, aim for my hand, Jason, aim for my hand. Good, there we go. Stretch, now shorten. Short and 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 good and try and keep that arm, that lever arm long. So he's trying to bend it a little bit now. Chest up a little more. That way we get create some distance. That's it. Create some distance with your chest up. That way you're not hitting the floor. Keep that lever arm long. 
Chest up as you pull. Good, and again. Let's get, you, get a couple in a row, from there, from there, from there. Good, and again. And out to my hand here, out to my hand here. Good, so you can see again, the mistake people make is as he does it, he wants to go where he's strong. I'm trying to keep him out here. That's where I want him, in line with his ear. Really get that readout working. So hand in line with the ear, up, 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 up. Excellent, and it's good that we're not showing you perfect from straight away. He's, he's, he's cooked on that one, and relax. Um, it's good we're not showing you perfection straight away. That way you can see the common mistakes that you might be making and correct them in your own training. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and this demo and want more great videos just like this, consider subscribing.